Hey, what's going on everybody? Nick Sapinow here for your April month in review. Divi did accomplish quite a bit this month. I'm excited to tell you about some of the milestones we've hit. Let's start off with a development update. As you guys have probably read, if you've been paying close enough attention, we're now in beta. So right now we're testing mostly the UI, user flows, onboarding, things of that nature. Um, not too much functionality testing just yet. Lots of just making sure that everything feels as smooth and pristine and world-class as humanly possible. Um, that said, there are quite a few things going on in the background at the moment, such as one of my favorite frictionless features, the ability to recover your account directly from your desktop wallet to your mobile wallet. So we want to make sure that when people move from Divi 1.0 to Divi 2.0, they don't have to go through a whole process of backing things up and downloading new files and potentially making mistakes that could result in the loss of finances. So what we've done is created a backward compatible wallet that allows you to simply scan a QR code right in your wallet on your desktop, right from your phone, and voila, you're right back to where you started, including your masternodes, all your staking, and of course, all of the transaction history that you were used to. Nothing changes other than the app you're using. The core of the Divi blockchain has been absolutely replenished over the past month. And we've been, uh, you know, basically for the past two or three months, refactoring and cleaning up the code base to ensure that the code is A, clean, up to a world-class standard, free of bloat, free of leftover unnecessary code from fork after fork. So really what we're doing is we're removing anything that is completely unnecessary to the functionality that we're building out for Divi 2.0 and, and beyond, ensuring that we're not just another fork of Dash or Pivx or Bitcoin or what have you, but we actually take a look at each individual feature and we think, okay, how is it implemented today? How should it be implemented today? Because these things are 10 years old, some of them, right? You're going back into the past. A computer science student coming out of college today is a much, it has learned much different things than somebody 10 years ago or 11 years ago when Bitcoin was created. So it's really important that we refactor and update this code base to ensure that it is up to a modern standard and as world class as the rest of the ecosystem. A couple other cool things happened in the development realm at Divi this month. Dragon Chain, which you guys know, we've been working on an interchain integration with them for a couple months now. They're hard at work. Pretty much our end of it is, is fully done. We've passed off all of the APIs and technology that they need in order to complete the integration. Uh, we've spun up a, a Dragon Chain uh, business L1 node, and um, the rest is up to them. What this is going to end up giving us the opportunity for is basically smart contracts with Divi. Um, so using their, their platform, you can build any sort of app that you could possibly imagine using their smart contract framework. It's really cool and I'm excited to see what use cases come out of this opportunity. Finally, we created and launched this map of nodes recently. And if you go on uh, to the website in the description, which is mn.divi.cr slash map, you can find a map of all the full nodes in the Divi ecosystem and see just how decentralized the whole network is. It's really cool because you can um, find little pockets of uh, highly populated node geography and click on it and it zooms right in. Now the cool thing is, first of all, the node that is running the map, basically, you know, it's connecting to all the other nodes in the network and each time it does that, it logs the IP and the IP is then used to generate a geographic location, which we obfuscate and ensure that you can't find the actual address of that person. So it kind of stops at basically a, you know, a certain radius from with, within that uh, IP range. Um, nevertheless, you can still see how crazy distributed this network is. And I really recommend you go and check that out because it's really fun to play with and it updates on a rolling basis every 24 hours. So Divi's FinTech is moving forward at a very, very encouraging pace. IBAN uh, issuance for even international customers is ready and has been tested. We are already doing inter or in 
uh, geography transfers, which means within Costa Rica, we're doing bank to bank transfers and KYC and AML is finished. At the moment, we're working out uh, some of the US features, so ACH and SWIFT transfers, and that is looking very good to be done incredibly soon. The next step for the FinTech is just to be integrated with uh, the mobile app and the desktop wallet that's coming out. And the other end of it, uh, the FinTech side of it, it will be actually be ready before that most likely. We'll probably launch them to the consumer public at the same time. Um, but I will let you guys know if that changes, if you can get a IBAN before the Divi wallet comes out. Some other cool milestones this month. We hired a COO, Jeff Packard comes aboard as our COO advisor, I should say. Um, Jeff is a veteran corporate maven. He's a really cool guy and he has a ton of experience working with some of the largest companies on earth, including Deloitte and among many, many others. And he has this incredible experience that allows us to really map out some of the um, more complex operations within the company. He's really helped us nail down some of the metrics and performance indicators that will help us as we move into the next phase of our product roadmap. And he's really helped us also dial in a lot of our processes within the company. Really excited to have Jeff Packard aboard. You can read more about him on our website in one of our recent blog updates. And I'll make sure that that link is of course in the description. Digihost is a new-ish uh, VPS platform. So that's virtual private servers. These are just servers in the cloud, similar to DigitalOcean or AWS. And they are now accepting Divi as a form of payment for their very, very reasonably priced private servers. We are also working on a partnership with them in order to host Mochi's on their servers. What's great about this partnership is the fact that we can finally implement um, Divi payments right there in the Mochi deployment process. We can even make it so that your Master of Rewards automatically pay for your VPS. We're working this out still. Um, it's still in the early stages, but things are underway and it looks very good. And I'm really excited about it. You guys should go check out digihost.io right away. In another massive milestone this month, we reached a thousand masternodes. We're way over a thousand now, probably at 1020, something like that. Millions of dollars are allocated to the Divi masternode network at this point. It's incredibly strong and it's incredibly encouraging to see that even in these uncertain times, people are still sticking to active income sources like masternodes, staking, mining, and even to some extent, you know, trading and hodling. I got to give everybody a huge round of applause for reaching this milestone because it's not just us. It is a huge community effort to get to this point. It takes a lot of dedication and everybody's holding on tight, which is very encouraging to the team and of course, the community. A couple of our partners this month added Divi to new products that they launched. So first we have the Midas Index. The Midas Index is basically a way for users to invest in a, an index of masternode coins and Bitcoin. So if you don't know what an index is, it's basically a pool of several assets uh, that basically mitigates the risk of investing in just one of those assets while giving you some of the same benefits. I definitely recommend you check out Midas Index because they've already basically sold out of their Divi position and we're trying to figure out how they will increase that. Um, so obviously popularity is incredibly high for this opportunity. And yeah, Midas Index, Midas Investments is the site. <laughs> the other partner who is who has added a new service, including Divi, is My Container, And their premium service now includes a diamond plus two Divi silver nodes. To, and I know that their user base is picking up quite rapidly as well. So you wanna check that out before they sell out as well. On the podcast this month, great, great month for the podcast. And honestly, I am so excited for you guys to hear the podcast in the coming couple of months. We have amazing interviews lined up with some of the biggest people in the cryptocurrency industry. But this month we had the CSO of Zillica. We did a huge giveaway with Zillica. They gave away 10,000 Zill. Um, we had a ton of people listen to that podcast. So thank you, Zillica. We also had Meta Parlicar, who is the CTO of 
Casper Labs. We had Simon Harmon, who's from Loki. We had uh, Rachel Siegel, who's Crypto Finally. We even had Luke Stokes, who is the head of the EOS Foundation and the CEO and co-founder of FIO, F-I-O, which is a wallet standardization protocol. So we're really, really excited to have all these amazing people coming on the podcast. And I, like I said, it is only going to get crazier in the next couple of months. So definitely subscribe to the Divi Crypto Podcast on SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Music, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Finally, events. This month, we were featured at several online conferences. The virtual conference thing, I got to say, is kind of weird, but it's also really cool because it allows people who otherwise wouldn't be able to go to conferences, who maybe don't have the time to take off and travel to conferences that take place a lot of times during the middle of the week. You know, right now, obviously, is a strange and somewhat unfortunate time in our history. However, it has opened the door for quite a few different opportunities to connect with one another, one of which are these virtual conferences. So we've participated in the Coin Genius um, Virtual Blockchain Summit. Very cool. I mean, I got to sit on a panel with Nick Spanos and uh, a couple of other really big juggernauts from the industry and just chop it up about different topics in uh, virtual currency and digital finance. Then I was a speaker at the Miami University of Ohio's Blockchain Club Virtual Blockchain Conference. That's a mouthful. And it was amazing. They gave me 30 minutes to talk about masternodes and um, the importance of earning a passive income in a recession. I talked about the economy and basically, you know, Divi masternodes and how easy they are to set up, but all the other different ways that you can earn passive and active income during a downturn in the economy. You should be able to see that video in the coming week, and I will be sure to share it on Twitter, Facebook, and all the other places that we share our content. Finally, we have the Virtual Blockchain Week, which is right now going on. It's Bad Crypto's big event, and I can't even begin to describe some of the incredible names that they have on, on the docket for this conference. I mean, everybody from John McAfee to Anthony Pompliano to Tim Draper, I mean, every single person you could possibly think of is speaking or sitting on panels at this conference. I have the opportunity to speak as well. I'll be talking about, of course, the Divi 2.0 mobile wallet as well as some other topics that I feel passionate about in cryptocurrency. There's also some really, really cool after parties throughout the week, and you should definitely keep an eye on our Twitter as well as the Bad Crypto Twitter to see what's going on for Virtual Blockchain Week. And everything's free. And uh, finally, Pol Polis Pay did a webinar where they discussed how to spend Divi in the real world with their mobile wallet. Now, the Polis mobile wallet is very similar, at least in the way that, uh, at least in philosophy, to, to the Divi wallet. You know, they're all about um, achieving a, a use case for cryptocurrency, giving people the opportunity to spend their crypto in the real world. You can buy gift cards, and they even have a, a prepaid debit card of some sort. And it's a really cool wallet. Now, obviously, their approach is much different than the way that Divi 2.0 is going about it. They don't own their fintech operation and things like that. Despite that, it's still a really great wallet, and you should check it out. Check out their webinar, too, and see what they were talking about, how you can spend your Divi on real-world goods. So that's about it for the month of April. I really appreciate all of the dedication to the project from our team and from the community. I can't thank you guys enough for helping us reach that thousandth master node. We have so much to do and there's so much coming out in the very near future. We're all excited about Divi 2.0. I know you guys are. Keep it locked on our announcement channel on Telegram. Keep it locked on our blog, on our YouTube. There's a lot of announcements coming each and every day pretty much. So you want to make sure that you're the first to know. If you can't keep up with all of those things on a daily basis, make sure you go to wallet.diviproject.org, add your email there. We will be sure to update you via email on a weekly basis so you don't have to pay that close of attention if you don't have the time. Once again, thank you guys. If you like this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us on social media at Divi Project across all of the social media channels. And I'll see you guys next week, month, year, whenever. <laughs>